So the short answer is yes, you can use a normal graphic card on an ASUS BTF motherboard. And just to show you how exactly it works and what ASUS has to say about it, let's go ahead and take a look on the motherboard itself. So as you can see, the ASUS BTF motherboard has an additional add-on high power connector that goes right uh, next to the PCI Express slot. And this slot allows you to connect an ASUS BTF GPU like this one. This is a 4070 Ti Super from ASUS, which has this uh, special connector. As you can see right over here, this is not, not your normal graphic card. You have the PCI Express connector right over here, but you also have an additional uh, connector right over here. What this connector does is allows you not to plug the um, power cable that you plug from your power supply directly to the GPU, but rather plug it into the motherboard. And the way you do that is you plug it at the back of the motherboard, so right over here. You can see the 12 volt connector right over here. This is the newest and more modern connector. And if uh, for whatever reason you want to use the normal PCIe um, connectors, PCI Express connectors, so you have three of them right over here. You would think that this is the only way you can use a graphic card on this motherboard. And I really wanted to know if I put a normal graphic card, let's say I buy an ASUS 4070 Ti Super, which is not BTF version. This is the normal graphic cards. As you can see, it has the normal PCI Express connector right over here. And it also has the uh, power plug right over here. So in case if I install graphic card like this, of course I won't be able to use the connector at the back of the motherboard, but will I be able to use the graphic card at all? This is a question that you might have. So yes, you actually can. And the way that I found information about it is actually through the manual of the motherboard. You can download the manual from uh, the manufacturer website or look at the manual if you bought the board and you have it on, on hand. But uh, on chapter one, um, paragraph 21, page 31, you can see they uh, talk about the high power plug LEDs. I think it's a bit hard to see it in the picture, but there is a little tiny LEDs right next to each connector. You can see them right over here. You can see these tiny little yellow marks right next to each connector. And the reason why this is uh, important is because uh, what ASUS say here in the manual is the GC high power power plug uh, LEDs will indicate the connection status of the GC high power power connectors. And there's a small note here, which uh, this is the note that made me understand that you can actually plug a normal uh, GPU to do this kind of a motherboard. Uh, and they say here, the GC high power power plug LEDs will only function when a PCIe Express high power connector graphic card is installed. The GC high power power plug LEDs will not light up if a standard graphic card is installed or if no graphic card are installed at all. So yeah, uh, basically what they say is that if you don't install um, a BTF graphic card like this one and you install a normal one like this one, the lights behind the motherboard just uh, won't light up over here. That means in that case, you plug your power cable directly to the GPU and that's it. There's nothing much to it to be honest. But it's just funny that I uh, really couldn't find an answer for it. I was looking, like Googling, uh, asking ChatGPT and whatnot, and couldn't really find an easy answer. And I did the digging, and I managed to find this. Uh, so I said I will share it in every possible way I know. And I hope this was helpful. If you have any question, please feel free to type it down below. Thank you for watching Full Tower TV. My name is Rafael and I will see you in the next one.